Welcome back to Telefilms and today we're back with another tutorial and we'll be creating this effect. Alright guys, so these effects will be split up into two parts. The first part, which is already the video we are watching, is the lightning strike tutorial. If you want to see the glowing eyes tutorial, click right here. Alright guys, so for this effect, you will need After Effects in three steps. The first step is to fix the weather. The second step is to add lightning and lighting. The third step is to add camera shake and sound effect. Let's get into it! Alright guys, so we are in After Effects and before we start on anything, for those of you who don't know what to film, you have to film either yourself or your actor pretending to get struck by lightning and fall down. Okay, got it? Right, once you got that, you want to import your footage into After Effects. Now the first step is to fix the weather, so we're going to drag this footage into this composition button right here. So once we got that, we want to trim it by going to where we want to start. I want to start right here, so I'm going to press B, and I'm going to go where I want to start about right here, and then press N. Now I want to right click and trim come to work area. Now we can really get started on fixing the weather. So how we're gonna do that? We're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves with the layer selected, and we're going to lower this by clicking on the point and lower it down a bunch. Now we want to lower it just so that you can see it a bit and we're going to bump down the contrast like so. Alright guys, so once you got that you want to go to effect again and go to color correction and select hue slash saturation and we're going to desaturate this because it's way too much bright for a storm. So we're going to lower it, not too much, not black and white, we want just a bit of color about Maybe right here. You can really see the difference if you click like that. Alright guys, so now that we got the color fix, we want to add rain. Now, to add rain, we're going to select our footage, go to effect, simulation, and add CC rainfall. And this is not a third party problem, so don't worry. So, we're going to decrease the drops, increase the size. You can play around with this depending on your footage. I'm going to increase the depth, increase the speed, maybe shift a bit of wind and spread it out and the color personally I think it's too white so I'm going to a light blue I'm just standing there to kind of lower the opacity alright so this seems good and our last step is to go to extras and change the ground level to where your ground is so just lower it my ground is right about right here now if we scroll and play this we can see that we have our rain and yeah guys that was fixing the weather and now we're on to step two all right guys so step two is to add lightning and lighting so we're gonna do it by adding a new layer naming it lightning and it doesn't matter what color it is now we're gonna turn this off for a second and we want to trim it to where we want to get struck by lightning so I want to get struck by lightning about right here. I'm going to drag it and holding shift so it locks automatically. And I want it to end about right here. So I'm going to drag this and holding shift. And so I should have this. Maybe I trim it about there. Alright guys, so now we can turn this back on. Now we're going to select the lightning, go to effect generate and click advanced lightning now we're going to turn the direction into strike um, we're going to go to the glow settings and change the color to light blue so it is a bit more realistic well right here we're going to go to four settings and increase it by a lot because a real lightning strike in uh, your perspective is a bit large now we're going to bump up the glow radius and looks like we're done. Now, we, for the first frame, I wanted to just come down just a bit. I'm going to select the top strike and put it above the footage. Now, the bottom one, I wanted to just stay above me for this first frame. 
Now I'm going to click the stopwatch on origin and direction. Go one frame in forward and strike it down your actor. Like so. So now you can scroll through the last frame. And we're going to go and just make it last a bit longer by selecting it like that. That way we have a cool little animation. I'm going to go one frame backwards. And this still has to be on top. So now we should have something like this. It still looks pretty bad, so we can go in the middle and adjust the lightning button position by like that. Now we're going to go to the first and we're going to hit the stopwatch on conductivity state and go to the end and button it up as much as you want. I go as high as 89, even 90. And now if you take a look, it really looks like a lightning strike. So now that we have the lightning, we now have to add the lighting. This is what sells the effect the most. So we're going to go to layer, new, adjustment layer, and we're going to make a mask around myself or your actor. So just a rough mask, it doesn't have to be a perfect mask. So like, this is a thing where it doesn't really have to be perfect. We just want the lighting around our body. So just make a rough mask. About right there, we're going to hit M and hit the stopwatch. We're going to trim it also, like so, when the lightning starts and ends. And we're going to animate it so that it sticks to our actor. Go a few frames forward and adjust the mask to your actor. Like I said, it's a rock mask, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm done here, I'm just going to go about here. Just change it a bit. We're gonna go to the last frame and just now try to get it a bit more perfect since we see ourselves a bit more. Once you got the mask, we're gonna go to effect, color correction, and curves. And we're gonna bump it up by a lot because the lighting is super bright. Not too much, but like pretty effective. Select the RGB and change it to blue and rub it up a bit. Now it's a bit blue, so we're gonna go to green and bump that up also. I think the brightness is too high, so I'm gonna look. But right there. One other thing you want to put your adjustment layer under the lightning. We're gonna call this Alex Lighting. And you can name it to whatever your actor's name is. So now I have this. And I'm gonna hit F and feather it by a bunch. So now we have a lighting for me and the next thing is really going to show the effect we're going to add another adjustment layer trim it to the lightning duration put it under the alex lighting or whatever your actor is called and we're going to put the alex lighting hit cars ctrl c to copy and paste it in this we're gonna name this bg Lighting. This means background lighting. This is really what it says. Okay. Now we're gonna hit C for the opacity. We're gonna lower it a bit and hit the stopwatch. We're gonna go frame by frame and just lower it and increase it, bump it up a lot, and lower it again at random. So it's not that hard because you're gonna be done in a second. It's not that long to do. So just bump it up and down randomly. Alright, guys. So now that our lighting is done. We will see this effect of the lightning attacking and the light just spreads everywhere to the background. So now we play this. We should see us getting struck by lightning pretty well. And yeah guys, that was adding lightning and lighting. It's not that hard. So we'll move on to step three. Alright guys, so step three is to add camera shift and sound effects. So we're going to select all of these footage by all of these layer by Holding shift and holding the top and bottom and giving you like that. We're gonna right click, pre-compose, and let's just call this final and enter. Alright, so now we have something like this. Now we're gonna go to effects and presets and type in slider. Put on the slider to the final and review this arrow, review the effects and slider control and review the transform. We're gonna alt click on the position and type in wiggle. Open bracket, 10, 
comma, close bracket, and move one behind, and just parent this to the slider, and click out. Alright guys, so once we have the slider and expression, we're going to go right before the lightning strikes, or you see any effect, we're going to go there, and hit the stopwatch, then go we'll one frame and bump it up by a lot, I'm going to bump it up by maybe 104 maybe, and just until you think the camera shake should stop and the camera shake really shows the effect I'm gonna go back to zeros so we have this delay before the when right camera shake stops now we have this black border we don't want but and we can easily fix that by selecting press S and scale it up so now we have that and that's pretty much it guys that's the effect and I'm pretty sure you can see Find sound effects, you don't need me. You can just go to YouTube, find thunder, lightning, sound effects, whatever, add it to your video, adjust it, and you're good to go. So, yeah, guys, that was the lightning effect. So, if you're watching this from a future date, the glowing eyes tutorial may already be out, so be sure to click right here. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below so you can be responsible for the next video. So, hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye!